Hello my dear children, once again welcome back to our computer session. Do you know what I am going to teach you today? Today we are going to deal with the generations of computer. In our previous classes we were keeping track on the early calculating devices. We have started from Abacus, then Napier's Bond, Difference Engine, Analytical Engine, ANIAC, ETSAC. We have looked a lot of early calculating devices. Now, let's see the generations of computer. Today, I will be teaching only three generations of computer. First, let's have a look on the first generation of computer. See, in the first generation of computer, the time period is from 1940 to 1956. See the features of computer, slower and less efficient. It occupied a lot of space. By seeing this picture itself, you can identify the size of the system. More expensive to operate and it consumes large amount of heat. Here, see this picture. This is the picture of vacuum tubes. They use that technology and the processing was very slow. The examples of first generation computers are ANIAC, EDVAC and UNIVAC 1. So this is all about the first generation of computer. See now let's have a look on the second generation of computers. In second generation of computers they use transistors instead of vacuum tubes. This transistor has no filament so the uh, heat is very less. The features are easy required, used assembly language, more reliable and less heat. And you can see compar uh, compared to the first generation computer the size of the system is a little bit smaller. And the exam and the time period is from 1956 to 1963. And the examples of it are Univac 3, IBM 1401 and IBM 1620. Third generation computers. Third generation computers used IC. What is IC? Integrated circuits. And it, the size of the system was smaller as compared to the second generation computers. And it is a little bit faster than the second generation computers. And let's have a look on some more features. Flexible and smaller. Less power consumption. Used higher level language easier and cheaper and the examples of third generation computers are IBM 360 series and Univac 1108 these are the features of third generation computers hope my children have understood the three generations of computer we have studied the features and point wise and uh, it's very clear for you what are the features of first second and third generation of computers and we will meet in the next class with the fourth and fifth generation of computer till then bye bye but before that I have placed an activity sheet for you and let's have a look on that activity sheet. So my dear, look, this is your activity sheet. See, I have placed only three questions for you. First one is to identify these two devices. Second one, name any two features 
of first generation computers and the last question is give one example for first generation computer second generation computer and third generation computer so after watching the video you do this activity sheet so see you my dear children we'll meet with fourth generation and fifth generation computers bye bye